Toltec The Toltec culture The later Aztec culture saw the Toltecs as their intellectual and cultural predecessors and described Toltec culture emanating from Tlalan as the epitome of civilization. In the Nahuatl language the word Toltec or Tolteca came to take on the meaning artisan. The Aztec oral and pictographic tradition also described the history of the Toltec Empire, giving lists of rulers and their exploits. Among modern scholars it is a matter of debate whether the Aztec narratives of Toltec history should be given credence as descriptions of actual historical events. While all scholars acknowledge that there is a large mythological part of the narrative, some maintain that by using a critical comparative method some level of historicity can be salvaged from the sources. Others maintain that continued analysis of the narratives as sources of actual history is futile and hinders access to actual knowledge of the culture of Tula de Allende. Other controversies relating to the Toltecs include the question of how best to understand the reasons behind the perceived similarities in architecture and iconography between the archaeological site of Tula and the Maya site of Chichen Itza. No consensus has yet emerged about the degree or direction of influence between these two sites. Another source of controversy is that New Age authors such as Carlos Castaneda and Don Miguel Ruiz say that they represent Toltec teachings. For this tradition of knowledge see Toltec. Some archaeologists, such as Richard Deal, argue for the existence of a Toltec archaeological horizon characterized by certain stylistic traits associated with Tula, Hidalgo and extending to other cultures and polities in Mesoamerica. Traits associated with this horizon are, the Mixteca Puebla style of iconography, Tohil Plumbate ceramic ware and Silor X Vine Orange ware ceramics. The presence of stylistic traits associated with Tula and Chichen Itza is also taken as evidence for a Toltec horizon. Especially the nature of interaction between Tula and Chichen Itza has been controversial with scholars arguing for either military conquest of Chichen Itza by Toltecs, Chichen Itza establishing Tula as a colony or only loose connections between the two. The existence of any meaning of the Mixteca Puebla art style has also been questioned. A contrary viewpoint is argued in a 2003 study by Michael E. Smith and Lisa Montiel who compare the archaeological record related to Tula Hidalgo to the of the polities centered in Teotihuacan and Tenochtitlan. They conclude that relative to the influence exerted in Mesoamerica by Teotihuacan and Tenochtitlan, Tula's influence on other cultures was negligible and was probably not deserving of being defined as an empire, but more of a kingdom. While Tula does have the urban complexity expected of an imperial capital, its influence and dominance was not very far-reaching. Evidence for Tula's participation in extensive trade networks has been uncovered, for example, the remains of a large obsidian workshop. The debate about the nature of the Toltec culture goes back to the late 19th century. Mesoamericanist scholars such as Vesha, Manuel Orozco Ibera, Charles Etienne Brasser de Bourbourg, and Francisco Clavigero all read the Aztec chronicles and believe them to be realistic historic descriptions of a pan-Mesoamerican empire based at Tula, Hidalgo. This historicist view was first challenged by Daniel Garrison Brinton who argued that the Toltecs as described in the Aztec sources were merely one of several Nahuatl-speaking city-states in the post-classic period, and not a particularly influential one at that. Dot he attributed the Aztec view of the Toltecs to the tendency of the human mind to glorify the good old days, and the confounding of the place of Tolan with the myth of the struggle between Quetzalcoatl and Tezcatlipoca. Desiree Charney, the first archaeologist to work at Tula, Hidalgo, defended the historicist views based on his impression of the Toltec capital, and was the first to note similarities in architectural styles between Tula and Chichen Itza. This led him to posit the theory that Chichen Itza had been violently taken over by a Toltec military force under the leadership of Kukul Khan. Following Charney the term Toltec has since been associated with the influx of certain central Mexican cultural traits into the Maya sphere of dominance that took place in the late classic and early post-classic periods. The post-classic Mayan civilizations of Chichen Itza, Mayapan and the Guatemalan highland shape been referred to as Toltecized or Mexicanized Mayas. The historicist school of thought persisted well into the 20th century, represented in the works of scholars such as David Carrasco, Miguel Leon Portilla, Nigel Davis and H. B. Nicholson, which all held the Toltecs to have been an actual ethnic group. This school of thought connected the Toltecs to the archaeological site of Tula which was taken to be the Tolan of Aztec myth. This tradition assumes that much of central Mexico was dominated by a Toltec empire between the 10th and 12th century AD. The Aztecs referred to several Mexican city-states as Tolan, place of reeds, such as Tolan Kalalan. Archaeologist Lorette Sojourn, 
followed by the historian Enrique Florescano, have argued that the original Tolan was probably Teotihuacan. Florescano adds that the Mayan sources refer to Chichen Itza when talking about the mythical place Siua. Many historicists such as H. B. Nicholson and Nigel Davis were fully aware that the Aztec chronicles were a mixture of mythical and historical accounts. This led them to try to separate the two by applying a comparative approach to the varying Aztec narratives. For example, they seek to discern between the deity Quetzalcoatl and a Toltec ruler often referred to as Topiltzin Sayacatl Quetzalcoatl. In recent decades the historicist position has fallen out of favor for a more critical and interpretive approach to the historicity of the Aztec mythical accounts based on the original approach of Brinton. This approach applies a different understanding of the word Toltec to the interpretation of the Aztec sources, interpreting it as largely a mythical and philosophical construct by either the Aztecs or Mesoamericans generally that served to symbolize the might and sophistication of several civilizations during the Mesoamerican post-classic period. Scholars such as Michelle Gralich and Susan D. Gillespie maintained that the difficulties in salvaging historic data from the Aztec accounts of Toltec history are too great to overcome. For example, there are two supposed Toltec rulers identified with Quetzalcoatl, the first ruler and founder of the Toltec dynasty and the last ruler, who saw the end of the Toltec glory and was forced into humiliation and exile. The first is described as a valiant triumphant warrior, but the last as a feeble and self-doubting old man. This caused Gralich and Gillespie to suggest that the general Aztec cyclical view of time, where events repeated themselves at the end and beginning of cycles or eras was being inscribed into the historical record by the Aztecs, making it futile to attempt to distinguish between a historical Topiltzin Sayacatl and a Quetzalcoatl deity. Gralich argued that the Toltec era is best considered fourth of the five Aztec mythical sons or ages, the one immediately preceding the fifth son of the Aztec people presided over by Quetzalcoatl. This caused Gralich to consider that the only possibly historical data in the Aztec chronicles are the names of some rulers and possibly some of the conquests ascribed to them. Furthermore, among the Nahuan peoples the word Tolteca was synonymous with artist, artisan or wise man, and Toltecayot. Toltecness meant art, culture, civilization, and urbanism and was seen as the opposite of Shikamikayot which symbolized the savage, nomadic state of peoples who had not yet become urbanized. This interpretation argues that any large urban center in Mesoamerica could be referred to as Tolan and its inhabitants as Toltecs, and that it was common practice among ruling lineages in post-classic Mesoamerica to strengthen claims to power be claiming Toltec ancestry. Mesoamerican migration accounts often state that Tolan was ruled by Quetzalcoatl a godlike mythical figure who was later sent into exile from Tolan and went on to found a new city elsewhere in Mesoamerica. Claims of Toltec ancestry and a ruling dynasty founded by Quetzalcoatl have been made by such diverse civilizations as the Aztec, the Quiche and the Itzimayas. While the skeptical school of thought does not deny that cultural traits of a seemingly central Mexican origin have diffused into a larger area of Mesoamerica, it tends to ascribe this to the dominance of Teotihuacan in the Classic period and the general diffusion of cultural traits within the region. Recent scholarship, then, does not see Tula, Hidalgo as the capital of the Toltecs of the Aztec accounts. Rather, it takes Toltec to mean simply an inhabitant of Tula during its apogee. Separating the term Toltec from those of the Aztec accounts, it attempts to find archaeological clues to the ethnicity, history, and social organization of the inhabitants of Tula. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.